Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our Vanity Studios video and well, tips and tricks. This is what all of this video is about. Things that help you more or less when way painting. Also, this is the video you're gonna kill me for not releasing faster. Trust me, I'm gonna show you something that will help you. And well, I'm gonna start with that. So, you know when you're making your model and all of a sudden you see skin clipping through and you decide either to cut the skin or even to make the clothes bigger. But here's the thing, when making the clothes bigger, you don't, well, you don't, you don't notice, but you're actually making the weights of the model off place. So what does this mean? Well. You see, you have this bone right here, uh, or this bone joint right here, and the weight is all the way over here. Well, what does that mean? Well, when we go and twist the bone, or use the bone, the deformation looks very bad. It doesn't look right, the clothes just go inside them all too much, and well, simply by taking the bone and putting it at the joint of the weight let's say around here that should be good enough well you are fixing that problem one that looks a lot better so of course your placement needs to be somewhat calculated for example if i move it here it's going to be different Again, you have to experiment with this, but in most cases, when you think you have broken weights, remember this tiny little trick and try just placing your bones correctly. Trust me, this... I needed someone to tell me this because this would have saved me so much time with Levarno. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that was his main problem. Anyway, on to the next one. So let's say that you are way painting your model and you only want to work on the surface you see. For example, if I, let's say, way paint like right here, all the weights go in the back, on the back vertices as well. Well, there's somewhat of a fix for that. Fix that is turning on X-ray mode or the front mode. So for now on, if you have the front mode on, you will only weight paint on the surfaces you see, not on the back ones. Orthographic view. What is orthographic view? Well, simply put like this. You go into strange view once you activate it. And for those of you who saw my keyboard shortcuts in AMD, well, it turns out that you can also use them in PMX. Well, orthographic view, pretty simply, makes or puts the view symmetrically. So, you can make your model a lot more perfect. Because you can actually see on which side you're working on. And also, well, it helps a lot when trying to fiddle around with the camera and all the others. gets rid of the camera fiddling for the most part. So here is another very important one. Mirroring weights. So for example, you know that you you might know already that weight painting is an absolute pain. It takes a lot of time and well yeah, it takes a crap loads of time. What if I were to tell you that you can only work on one side of your model and then just mirror everything from that side to the other side? Well, it turns out you can actually do that. For that, I need to set up a little thing and also do a bit of weight painting. Thank you. 
So as you see right here, we have the shoulder bones and well, on the right side of them all, I've weighted with 75 those vertices right here. And if you want to transfer them or mirror them to the other side, well, there is a simple procedure for that. Again, you can see they are different colors. If you have been following my tutorial series, you know what all the different colors mean on your model. So in order to mirror weights, you have to select the side that, it, that you want to weight, not the side that you are going to duplicate. Keep this in mind, the side that you want to mirror or no, the side that you want to be weighted. Yeah, the side that you want to be weighted. So if we want to transfer everything that's on this side to this side, we got to select this side of the model. Well, here's a little nifty little thing. If you go to weight, select model half and go to the left side. Of course, you need to have the vertex, up, the vertex, the vertex selecting and options enabled. Select model half, select left side. You see that your whole left side is selected. Now, what you want to do is go to weight. And, well, mirror vertex one start and it's going to start a little thing right here a progress bar and now if you go to your bones well you see that all of your weights are mirrored isn't that a life-saving technique and so that concludes to the weight painting series of course, you will have to learn on your own how to weight base certain parts of your model. You have to be creative. And if you want or need some inspirations, well, you remember MD came with some models and those models are kind of perfect. And what I mean by that, they are not choppy. They are good models. So if you need any inspiration, you can go check them out and see how certain parts of them are weighted. Also, I have to mention that there are plugins that help a little bit with the uh, weight painting. There's a weight transfer plugin, which transfers the weight from certain vertices to other vertices. And also, I heard that the skirt plugin can help you weight a little bit. But of course, I won't go into any much any more detail because this tutorial, this tutorial series is already very long and it's kind of late. Anyway, so. Feel free to ask me anything in the comments and I'll do my best to answer any questions and, well, yeah, any comments. Anyway, I was Albert from 180 Studios. Thank you for watching.